Hey guys, Brent Fusley here. Uh, this is a, a video response to Robbie Cole's uh, Your Yu-Gi-Oh! Story, I believe it's called. Um, I actually have four stories, but they're all kind of like related uh, for the most part. So I'm probably going to make two videos for this. Uh, one of them is about a tournament that I won uh, using the Heart of the Cards. So that was pretty cool. And the other one are all related to Cyber Dragons. So these are going to be my Cyber Dragon stories. So basically the first one is right after Cyber Revolution came out, uh, you know, everybody was just on Cyber Dragon's balls. It was the best card that had come out in a really long time. It was super rare. I think it was a $40 super rare, which at the time was pretty much like unprecedented in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! history. Uh, so that was pretty crazy to just even see that part of it. Um, but that's not the crazy part. Basically, the first part is that I used to go to the swap meet pretty often in a downtown or whatever. Um, and there was a guy there, a vendor, and he was a newer vendor, and he was competing with the other vendors. And uh, he was a pretty cool guy uh, for the most part. You know, he didn't really know the prices all off the right off the bat. Um, but he knew a general. He had a general idea. Cyber Dragon had just came out, and so he had two Cyber Dragons, a Cyber Twin, and a Cyber End, basically. Um, and I got all four for I believe forty-two dollars, which at the time was probably the price of one Cyber Dragon. And I was like, wow, that's really lucky. That I got all that. I told you know I told like to God and I told all my other friends who were playing. They're like, "What are you serious? That's so cool!" You know, whatever. And I didn't know the price of them at the time. I was just like, uh, "How about 40, 42 for all?" And he was like, "Oh, sweet! All right, cool." So he sold them to me, and that's how I got my Cyber Dragons the first time when I was playing. You know, when I was collecting all my cards and stuff, and it was really cool. And I got really lucky on that deal. Uh, just getting all of those, and there was like you know the Cyber End Dragon uh, OTK and Cyber Twin Dragon OTK with Mega Morphs and stuff, and so I was really happy to get those earlier on. Uh, and okay, so I guess that was all my Cyber Dragon like I always had two Cyber Dragons. I needed to get a third one like forever, and so I don't remember what set it was, whatever. So uh, so me and my friend Rob, or you guys know him as Gimbledon. Uh, went to Franken Sons in California. Franken Sons is like a big indoor swap meet of just awesome nerdy stuff. And uh, so we went there and he was just like, "Oh, I want to go buy a random pack of Cyber Drag or Cyber Revolution." I was like, "What do you think you're going to do? You're going to pull a Cyber Dragon?" And uh, and in saying that, I had used up like some kind of karma within myself and it transferred into him. And uh, usually Galactic God would go with us, but he didn't this time. So I guess there was some kind of an imbalance in luck. And uh, me being a smart ass at the time, you know, forced the luck over to Gimbledon. And he was like, oh my god, you're never going to believe what I just pulled. I was like, what? No, you didn't pull a Cyber Dragon. Shut the fuck up. You know, like type of thing. He opens, he opens the pack, you know, it's, it's already open. He pulls it out. Sure enough, there's a Cyber Dragon in there. I was like, you got it. Get out of here, you know. I can't even believe that you just did that. And so, I was the first time somebody pulled a Cyber Dragon in front of me, basically. And so, another time, I'm hanging out with Galactic God. And he's like, hey, you want to stop by the mall real quick? And I'm like, alright, sure. And so, it was, it was like a dying mall downtown. And they had game stores and stuff. And they had like a, a, a box of Cyber Revolution. And there was like literally five packs left. And they say you should never buy packs when there's that few packs left because all the hollows are probably going to be gone and so he goes and being him and being as lucky as he is looks at the packs and I was like thinking I should have looked at those packs first but you know I'm kind of nice or whatever <laughs> so, so he looked through the packs and he I don't think I'm going to get this one I was like alright I'm going to get these two I open them I don't think I pulled anything I don't remember but he goes oh heck yeah you know and I'm like Dude, if you show me a Cyber Dragon, I'm going to be so pissed right now. Turns the card around, it's another Cyber Dragon. Twice! <laughs> I've seen somebody pull... I was like, you know I need a Cyber Dragon. You know I need it. And he was like, yeah, you know, we'll pull, you know blah, blah, blah. I just got lucky, man. You know, it's not, it's not like I did it on purpose or anything. 
That's true. And he did he didn't do it to be mean. And, you know, how could he have known that he was gonna pull a cyber dragon? But it was just so ridiculous. So just two people you know, snatching those cyber dragons out from under me and uh just being lucky. So those are really crazy, you know, stories involving Yu-Gi-Oh! and uh, those are my Cyber Dragon stories. So I guess I used up all my Cyber Dragon luck in getting them for basically the price of one at the time. And, uh, you know, and being kind of, I don't know, I don't want to say douchey, but just whatever. So yeah, so there you go. That is my first Yu-Gi-Oh! story, or, you know, a few Yu-Gi-Oh! stories all bunched into one. They're kind of interconnected. And so there you go. So let me, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, have you had anything similar happen to you where you needed one card and your friend went and bought something and just pulled it and you were just like, you gotta be kidding me, type of thing. And uh, yeah, just remember to hit like, subscribe, and subscribe when I put in new videos. And thanks for watching.